Hi there, Synexis coming in. Today, we're going to be talking about upgrades. So guys, a little bit of update regarding my upload schedules. I'm only going to be uploading two videos per week right now because a lot of things in this game, a lot of mechanics are actually requiring some in-depth research and it's my habit that before I upload some videos, I really would like to understand how it fully functions or how it fully works in order for me to deliver the best content for you guys. So today, let's proceed about upgrades. So upgrades can be found here in this workshop, this little tool here. So as you can see guys, a little bit of knowledge. If you want to make your upgrades more efficient or more faster, you might want to consider buying these packs, Providence Pack or the Provident Pack and the Quick Start Pack. This is because the Provident Pack allows you to have two slots compared to one slot of upgrades and the Quick Start Pack reduces the upgrade time by 50%. So for example, if I want to upgrade my infantry with the Quick Start Pack, instead of two days, I will only have it upgrade for one day. So now let's talk about upgrades, alright? So upgrades is actually a pretty in-depth um, mechanic of the game. You need to upgrade your units or buildings in order for them to be powerful enough to fight the enemy or withstand enemy attacks. So normally, if you're one of the players who only has one slot for upgrades, then what you want to do is prioritize upgrading your buildings first, particularly your admin buildings or the supply centers, alright? So what you want to max out first is the supply center, and after you max the supply center, you want to max out the power plant and then the construction yard and then your headquarters, alright? So... Here guys, a little tip when you are doing upgrades. If you're going to do upgrades, make sure you only focus on one unit or one building. So for example, if I am going to upgrade my supply center, I am only going to upgrade my supply center and nothing more. A little advice when it comes to up the, uh, upgrading is when you are playing the game, like for example, it is a Saturday and you have uh, lots of free time so you decide to play art of war 3 for the whole afternoon so the idea here guys is to upgrade those that take less time unlike this time yeah uh, my upgrades actually take a lot of time from 2 hours to 12 hours but for example um, what do I have here so for example this upgrade takes 15 minutes takes another 15 minutes so you might want to prioritize upgrades that take less time so while you are playing the game looking for PvP for example after you play your PvP, the upgrade will finish. So here, for example, I'm going to upgrade my 15-minute armored wall. I go to this. Uh, I go to the battle. I start the battle, and after the battle, it's timing that the upgrade will finish, which will make me start another upgrade. So that's how you wanna do it, guys. All right. So for those who have only one slot of upgrades, I suggest upgrading your supply centers first then your power plant, construction yard, and headquarters before you upgrade your units. Because what's the point of having very powerful units if you don't have the resources to produce them? Next, so that's for the buildings, alright? So wanna, you wanna prioritize supply centers, power plants, construction yard, headquarters, then your barracks, assault vehicle factory, special, uh, special assault vehicle factory, avia factory, airfield, and so on. Next, regarding units, what units should you prioritize first? Normally, the units that you really need to upgrade are those that you use commonly. So, for ranks 14 and below, you normally want to prioritize upgrading Tier 1 and Tier 2 units, otherwise known as the Rifleman, Grenadiers, Snipers, Coyotes, Armadillo, and Armadillos. And if you can, upgrade your Dragonfly. Alright? Because Rifleman, Grenadiers, Snipers, Coyotes, and Armadillos are very common units that you are going to be using in the low ranks. Don't prioritize upgrading your late game units such as the Jaguars, Chameleons, Mammoths, Albatross because you're not going, most of the time, you're not going to be using them in your games. It's because by the time you produce a Jaguar at rank 10 or rank 9, it's probably going to be 30 minutes, alright? So you normally want to upgrade your Rifleman, Grenadiers, and Snipers first before upgrading your high-tier units. 
However, for those rank 14 above, by the time you reach rank 14, it's probably high chance that you have already upgraded your tier 1 and tier 2 units. So which is why then you will upgrade your tier 3 units. It's because for high ranks, Jaguars can be produced at least 5, 6, before 5 or 6 minutes. So it's pretty common to them. However, units like Jaguars are produced very late in ranks 14 below. So again, to sum it up, when you are going to upgrade your units, for those low ranks, low to intermediate ranks, prioritize upgrading your tier 1, tier 2 units. Riflemen, Grenadiers, Snipers, Coyotes, Armadillos, Dragonfly, and Dragonflies, and even Caymans if you can. Alright? So as for buildings again, Supply Centers, Power Plants, Construction Yard, and then your Headquarters. So that's it for the video of today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me remind you guys, I'm going to have a live stream tomorrow, 9.30 p.m. GMT plus 8. I'll be doing some interesting strategies. And since I haven't received a replay for uh, games that you have lost, I guess I'm just going to cancel that out. So we're going to be doing a lot of things tomorrow. All right. So see you guys tomorrow on stream. Have a nice day. Thank you so much for watching. CNX is over and out.